One of our goals at the University of South Dakota is to graduate leaders, not only in the academic fields which they have chosen, but also in life. The four students that you're about to meet will make great contributions in whatever they choose to do professionally, but I also think they'll make a huge difference in life. They will lead our state, our nation, and maybe even the world. I was fortunate enough to receive the 2014 Excellence in Public Health Award that's given out by the United States Public Health Service. Uh, it's very humbling. It means that even in the short time I've been doing research in public health, that um, hopefully we've made an accomplishment. We're looking at the South Dakota trauma system, which is a big set of data compiled by every individual that's traumatically injured in the state. And this was created legislatively in 2008 to really see what South Dakota can do to better care for traumatically injured patients. The Fulbright Scotland Summer Institute is a five week long program that takes place in Scotland. Um, we get the opportunity to study at two of the most prestigious universities that are in Scotland. It's a national program so I was very excited to be accepted um, and it means a lot to me just in terms of my personal and academic growth. We're going to be studying the different health systems while we're over there. So I'm going to be very interested as, you know, as a medical biology major who wants to become a doctor, I'm going to be very interested in seeing the globalization of medicine and how the health systems that are in Scotland sort of compare to what we're doing here. This award was a really big deal for me because I've never actually traveled outside of the country and I've never got to kind of experience different cultures. I come from a small farm in Yankton, South Dakota. And when the weather goes bad, you know, it really has an effect on the farm, on the crops and the cattle. That's one major reason why I've always kind of had this passion for the environment. And, you know, when like global climate change really is the issue of the century. So I'll really enjoy being in the United Kingdom to see their policies and how they're working and what the United States can do better. I think what the Honors Program does to help equip students for success after USD is that they have practiced some very real world experiences. They have had to convince others that their opinion is the most appropriate opinion for the situation. They have had to deal with things where there is really never going to be a right answer, there just has to be a best answer. They have had to convince people both in writing and in speech. And then they've also tackled a thesis. They have a level of expertise. They have done something that most students don't do until four or five years later. And so that's a particular advantage as well. The honors program, you know, at large has really helped me because the classes, you know, allow you to think critically. They really help you uh, learn how to write better, to convey your ideas in a manner that makes sense and that other people will be able to understand what you're trying to say. I think my undergraduate time at USD was incredible at helping me achieve this award. I would say primarily through the honors program uh, was where I got the most value out of this because through the honors program and the thesis that uh, we write, uh, I actually wrote about the trauma system and it led me down the path to connecting with the right people to get into more of the epidemiology research side of it. Uh, so I think my time at USD taught me how to do original research by first showing me um, how to research with help around me, with professors and other students around me. My favorite part about being in honors is just being surrounded by so many other people that are trying to achieve the same goals that you are. It just kind of helps you look at what you're doing and what they're doing and then what you can be doing um, better and sort of just to push yourself in that way. Winning this award is important to me because I know that I have the confidence to go out there and advocate and be compassionate about what I do. And this award just shows me, proves to myself that I can actually do it. And I think going into the real world with this award on my resume, I can, employers will look at it and know that I'm not just saying, oh, I'm, I'm a good defense attorney. They'll see the award and it shows for itself. Mm -hmm.